Hi Virgo, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of May 15, 2017. Thank you guys for stopping by. Don't forget your weekend and your monthly videos are up as well. And if you're enjoying them, please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Also, if you're seeking a personal reading, please join me on my website at www.ms-swami.com and you'll find a link to that below this video. Um, Virgo, you're going to be busy uh, on the work front. But this is an incredible week for you. There's some changes going on in the home front. There's some changes coming up in the love life that you've kind of gone through a healing and contentment and that you're looking for something new and that's a good possibility. Um, but I'm also seeing total victory for some of you, uh, vent of live music. And there is a little bit of warning of not to lash out at someone. So keep hold of your temper this week. So this is for Virgo for the week of May 15th, 2017. Virgo, start with the Chariot, followed by the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, Major Arcana of the Emperor, the Nine of Wands, and Major Arcana of the Wheel of Fortune. So let's break this down for you guys. Chariot, like I said, you guys are going to be busy. This is your yes answer. This is you giving everything you want. Uh, this is everything good. Like I said, what you want just actually falls into place for you this week. Queen of Cups indicates that your balance has been restored. You're in a good spot. And the Ten of Pentacles, finances could not be better. Uh, for those of you that, like I said, when, when it comes to work and career, you guys are just busy this week, the best I can describe that. The Emperor. Now, I'm going to go back to the love life on Virgo. This could represent a male or a female. This is someone very dominant, very controlling in your thoughts. Let it go, people, because beside that, I find the Nine of Wands, which indicates you being overwhelmed. Okay? Now, for those of you that are not single and in a couple situation, this is also someone standing and taking a stand with you. So if you're married or in a relationship, that person may be standing up to you this week. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune indicates you're wondering, that's your skepticism, wondering if how things are going to go, if things are going to go good to bad, how they're going to go. Beside that, we have the High Priestess. And then we have the Five of Wands. Now, Wheel of Fortune, where you're wondering if things are going to go good to bad or how they're going to go, they actually go to your favor. But it does show some delays in plans and that there's still some more obstacles for you to get everything to perfection the way you want it to be. Okay? Now, beside that, we end with the Eight of Swords. Like I said, Virgo, this is a busy, busy week for you, but don't beat yourself up because the Eight of Swords is a card of self-imposed restrictions. So with that Eight of Swords and with the energy I'm seeing on you guys this week, I want to remind you to get out and have some fun. Don't make it all work, 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 or, you know, a confrontation with your partner. This is time, uh, particularly for my single Virgos, it's a good week for you to just kind of get out there and change things up a bit. <clears throat> so overall, weak energy. We have the chariot. Your guess answer, you're getting everything you want, everything you desire. We have that dominant person uh, playing a role. We have some delays and plans. And then we have you reviewing your things. Don't be a pessimist this week. You get what you want. It's right there in the chariot. So Virgo, have a great week ahead. Please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.